we're asked to find an exponential function for the graph. Well, looking at this graph carefully, notice how the x-axis has a linear scale, but the y-axis has a logarithmic scale. So this is called a semi-log graph, and our goal is to find an exponential function for this graph. So if we ignore the fact that the y-axis is logarithmic, we should recognize that this line has a y-intercept of negative one. And then if we use the y-intercept and this point here, we should be able to determine the slope of the line as well. Moving from left to right, notice how we have to move up two units. The change in y is two, and move right three units. So the change of x is three, and therefore the slope of this line is two-thirds. So normally, we would write the equation of this line in the form of y equals mx plus b. But now because the y-axis is a logarithmic scale, we're going to replace y with natural log of g of x. But we can still replace m with two-thirds and b with the y-intercept of negative one. So we'd have natural log of g of x is equal to two-thirds x minus one. And now we're going to write this log equation as an exponential equation. And since we have natural log, this is log base e. So e is the base. The quantity two x minus one would be the exponent. And the number would be g of x. So starting at the base and working around the equal sign, we can form the exponential equation e raised to the power of two-thirds x minus one must equal g of x. Again, e to the power of two-thirds x minus one must equal g of x. So this is an exponential function, but now we need to write it in the form of g of x equals a times b raised to the power of x. So we'll first use the product property of exponents. We can write this as g of x equals e to the two-thirds x times e to the negative one. Now let's use a commutative property multiplication and change the order here. So we'd have g of x equals e to the negative one times e to the two-thirds x. But now let's go ahead and rewrite this as g of x equals e to the negative one is equal to the reciprocal of e, or one over e. And then we can write e to the two-thirds x as e to the two-thirds raised to the power of x. So now this is in the form of g of x equals a times b raised to the power of x. But let's go ahead and get our decimal approximation for one over e and e to the two-thirds. So we'd have g of x equals one divided by e or e to the negative one. To four decimal places, this would be approximately 0 0.3679. And now we'll get our decimal approximation for e to the two-thirds. So this would be approximately 1.9477. So here's the exact form of the exponential function that represents the semi-log graph. And here's the approximate exponential function for the semi-log graph. I hope this was helpful.